Well, if you look at my resume, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of a patchwork quilt, like some of the, the quilts that we have here. A lot of the organizations I've been involved with have been at a time of change. And that's one of the things I know how to do, is to help either work with a group to create a roadmap for change or figure out how to implement what is needed. It's usually been something that just appeals to me at the time, is absolutely right at the time. She was on the board of the ACLU when I first joined the staff in the 1980s and was always a leader who lived by the principles that she espoused. When I started working at the AIDS Foundation, it was in the middle of the 80s, and it was when everybody was talking about quarantine, and so that was the time to become involved, and the same with Center on Halston. It was time for Chicago to have a community center. There had been a couple of previous attempts at building a community center, all of which had failed. And so our mantra was, we have one more chance to do it right, and we were gonna do it right. I consider Marsha one of the founding mothers of Center on Halstead. And she always kept us honest. So we had all these great dreams and where we wanted to go, and sometimes we got a little distracted by the shiny objects. And what was great about Marsha, she would always bring us back to, what is our vision? What is our mission? What is the point of us doing this? And she was really grounding in that way. She's a builder. She builds community, she builds teams, she's out to bring people together in a positive way, and she does it very quietly. There's no ego about her. Marsha also did a fantastic job of bringing people to the table who might otherwise not have come in and joined the movement of creating a center on Halstead. What moves me is its availability as a gathering place. We went to the vigil after the Orlando massacre. And that was the vision that I think I always had in mind of a place where the community could come together and know that there was a meeting place. And that was a phenomenal experience. It was my image of why we needed and why we built a community center. Well, I sort of have my own personal motto, stay in the conversation, what conversation it doesn't matter, why? Because you never know. So it's really taking advantage of opportunities, creating opportunities, seeing the possibilities, and then finding a way to do something about it. And what it is, is gonna change from time to time. And what inspires me is the work of others who do the hard work and the right thing and speak up and take the lead.